On average, rare diseases are diagnosed up to seven years too late. And with diseases such as Fabry and Pompeii, a diagnosis can take even longer. Volve Global have developed an AI technology that can help close this diagnostic gap, accelerating a patient's access to treatment and improving the outcome of those living with a rare disease. Diagnosing a rare disease can be like finding a single snowflake in a snowstorm. For doctors and patients, the search for answers can be overwhelming. Many people living with a rare disease can go an average of seven years without knowing exactly what's wrong with them. Volve, a company based here in Switzerland, wants to help doctors reach a diagnosis much faster than that. Christopher Rudolph is the CEO of Volve, a company revolutionizing the way we screen for difficult to diagnose diseases. Doctors often don't understand the disease that they're trying to diagnose. They may have never heard of the disease, they may have never learnt about the disease at medical college, and so they're faced with a patient that they, they just don't know what's wrong with them, and therefore it's very difficult for them to diagnose correctly. Volve's artificial intelligence technology, called Intrigue, uses machine learning to flag people at risk of a rare, difficult to diagnose, or orphan disease. The system scans vast amounts of anonymized medical data, searching for clues that doctors might miss. The issue here is that the number of things that a doctor has to think about are way more than um, they actually can think about. So in a health record in the UK, you might have 150,000 different combinations of data with all the possible different medication codes, all the different symptom codes, etc. And the idea is they can get to this decision making quicker to help um, take the patient to a diagnostic test or for a referral to a specialist. Volve's technology is being trialed in the UK, helping find people at risk of Fabry and Pompeii disease, two rare conditions that currently can take more than a decade to diagnose. This is the screen that doctor will see in the practice, and here it's highlighting how many patients in this practice have been flagged. And so it gives them a summary of all the patients that are at risk, and then how many patients don't have the disease, how many are already diagnosed, and how many are at risk of disease that could do with a diagnosis. An early warning means patients could begin potentially life-saving treatment as soon as possible. And healthcare systems like the NHS could save time and resources, especially as Volve hopes to provide the technology for free to medical providers. I think that this sort of technology could potentially be really useful. I think the massive advantage to it is that it can, you can look at so many patients really, really quickly, which a human is just, you know, isn't going to be able to do. You can apply this algorithm to potentially hundreds and thousands of, of patients. And then this is, you know, we're specifically only looking at two rare diseases at the moment. But, but there's, you know, it, there's sort of limitless potential with it. Volve is also partnering with pharmaceutical companies with its program called Include to learn more about rare diseases themselves and better understand the number of people affected. Overall, the ability to actually get at the true size of the population of people living with any one rare disease is really critically important because if there's only a handful of people known to live with the disease, maybe the, the entire investment to, uh, to pay attention to the disease or develop treatment options, do something about it, may be very marginal. So it changes the business incentive to develop treatment options. But what the technology won't change is the relationship between a patient and their doctor. The AI is very much there to help the clinician uh, find his or her way in the wealth of health information that is available already to them in the health records. It's ultimately still to the clinician to pick that up with the patient, discuss it with the patient, and together decide whether or not you want to follow the approved diagnostic pathway. Volve hopes its technology will empower doctors to make informed healthcare decisions and potentially change the lives of anyone suffering from a rare disease. The reason we got into this is because we think it's the future of healthcare. We think it's actually a technology that can be applied across many different medical areas. So our work is not finished for a long time. So the more patients we can help uh, in terms of their lives, the, the, the happier we are as an organization.